y'all. So happy Sunday. I think this video will go up today, which means that for this week, my Vlogmas videos will be the same. They'll be filmed the same day they go up, probably. Don't hold me to that. Um, I didn't really film it all on Saturday. I posted a few things on my Instagram story. Um, I made a shirt for the concert. It turned out really cute. Um, I felt bad because everyone kept asking me where it was from and I was like, no, I made it. Like, I'm sorry, you can't buy it anywhere. And people were telling me I could sell them, but I just used a Google image and I deleted a few, kind of edited, edited it a little bit. So it said like 2018, I deleted that. And then it said something else on the beer bottle, on the middle one below where it says beer. I'll post a picture of the shirt right here so you know what I'm talking about if you didn't see it. Um, but yeah, it said something on the beer bottle and I deleted that part as well. Just like basically covered it um, and like welded it together if you have a cricket so that it wouldn't um, cut those words out because I thought they were going to be too small. Um, and then I just used my cricket heat transfer vinyl and ironed it on. So it was awesome. Definitely cricket, one of my better purchases. Um, but anyways, I just threw in the chicken tortilla soup, well, the start of it. I'm doing, I'm hoping it'll turn out like Chick-fil-A's. I just kind of Pinterest, I got on Pinterest and I looked for copycat Chick-fil-A chicken tortilla soup recipes and this one looked good and that it would be low in points. So that is what we're using. Um, so I'll let you guys know how it turns out. Um, I'll put that footage at the end. I will say like the whole recipe that way it's all in one part of the video. You don't have to watch it in like pieces, but I will say I had the camera turned on and then I ended up having to trim my chicken. So I turned the camera off because I didn't want to film that part, which is going to be like a bunch of dead space. You couldn't like see what I was doing. I didn't want to waste all that like, you know, why record if I'm not going to put that in the video. So I turned it off. Then I forgot to turn the camera back on and I like didn't even realize it. So I put everything in the crock pot and it was like, I went to go turn the camera off and it wasn't even on to begin with. So I did explain what I put in there and I will link that recipe for you in the description box below and let you know how it turns out. I'm pretty much following it exactly, which never happens if you're me. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but I've got that thrown in. It's already almost five o'clock. Me and Morgan basically slept on the couch, on and off, all morning. Like, all we did was just, like, nap on nap. We um, went to the Luke Combs concert. It was amazing. I got a koozie. I'm so excited. I am kind of, like, a koozie collector. I like to get koozies anytime I go some, like, to a concert or to, like, an event. Basically, anything that has a koozie, I want the koozie from it. I don't know why. I just think it's fun. But, yeah, I got one of his koozies. The concert, you guys. So good so freaking good he came out right on time actually i think he came out early um which is awesome there was no intermission he played the whole time until like 11 something and it was awesome he sounded amazing he had so much energy he was like you know not holding back at all he was all over the stage he was um like pointing at people in the front that were filming and kind of, you know, giving them something cool on their phones or whatever, or like wave at them and stuff. It was really cool. He's really personable. I heard some new songs that I'd never heard before that I love. There's one called Houston, We've Got a Problem, or I think that's what it's called. I just wrote in my phone notes because I didn't want to forget how good that song was, but he was basically like, he's not from Texas and he never visited Texas growing up. That's like the story that he told. He's like, but well, I just knew that I loved Texas. He's like, I've never been there, but I just knew. And he was like, this is basically a love song, half to my fiance and half to Texas. And it's a really good song. If you're a Texan, you'll probably love it. It's a really good song. But yeah, the concert was freaking amazing. We were sitting next to this couple, probably around the same age as us. The girl was equally, like, as hyped as I was. We're, like, yelling. And she's like, I'm so sorry if I scream in here. I was like, girl, I'm going to be, like, twerking. Like, I love Luke Combs so much. And so, luckily, we were um, on the same level there. We pretty much, like, did, like, our drink to go get drinks at the same time. So, me and Morgan got an ILC, and that was nice. So, yeah, it was awesome. It was so good. And we, me and that girl stood at the end. She's like, should we stand for this? I was like, yes, let's stand up. So, we kind of started that in our section. Um... But yeah, it was, couldn't have been better, honestly. 
so freaking good. So good. Um, he, I was going to say something else. Oh, okay. So in the one song, uh, is it one too many? I think that's, I can't remember now what the song is called, but, uh, there's a part in it that's basically like you should shotgun a beer and he shotgunned a beer on stage. <laughs> it was awesome. So yeah, huge fan um, of him. Loved the concert. I thought he was great. He sounds just as good in person as he does on the radio. And I am just really obsessed with him. Um, then after that, we met up with our friends, James and Melody at the Riverwalk. Actually, they were already downtown and we're like, hey, t let us know when the concert's over. And y'all like, if y'all want to come meet us, we're like, okay. So the concert ended. We just went straight to downtown. You're kind of, I guess you're already kind of, I mean, you are downtown, but you know, we went to the other side of downtown, um, and met them on the river walk and went to a couple, but just one bar, I guess, actually, we were going to go to a different one and ended up not. And then we just walked to the water burger. So that was fun. There are like couple friends. We always do stuff with them. Like if we go watch LSU game somewhere, they'll come with us or we like go to brunch together on the weekends, things like that. So super fun. Melody got a really good picture, a couple good pictures of us on the river walk. I'll try to remember to post one right here so you can see that. Super cute. Morgan looked so handsome. He, I mean, our seats were freaking good. I was dying. I was like, you did not get these seats. Like, they're so good. I've only ever sat in like a higher bowl, not like the super high bowl, like the middle one. And we were even lower than that. And I was just like, and even those seats I always thought were kind of good, but like, we were just way closer than I would have ever had put myself. It was awesome. Anyways, right now I'm headed out to my parents' house. I'm stuck behind the slowest FedEx truck of life. And um, I still have those fall boxes in the back of my car that I meant to take back or meant to put up last week when I was at my parents' house twice and forgot both times. So they're still back there. I'm gonna unload those and then I'm gonna go through a few of my Christmas tubs and just pick out. I'm not even gonna take a tub, I don't think. I'm just going to pick out a few of the things that I want, and uh, I might have to take a tub. I really don't want to. I like, I'm tired of tubs in my house. I don't know. We'll see. I uh, might have to take a little tub, but I'm going to grab a few more Christmas things from my house. I'm not going to put up a tree this year. We're not even going to be here for Christmas. We're going to Shreveport, which is where Morgan is from, to spend Christmas with his family, so... I just don't want to deal with it, honestly. I just don't. So, sorry about that. I would love to have done a holiday home tour or like a Christmas home tour. I should have done one last year because honestly, it would have looked the same this year. But I will uh, maybe do a mini one once I get, maybe this week once I get like my finishing touches and just kind of show some of my Christmas stuff that I love. So, we'll see. Trying to keep Vlogmas semi Christmas related, but it's hard. Like, every day doesn't revolve around. Christmas related things so I like never know I'm like does this count as vlogmas if I'm literally just like filming my daily life I feel like that's the point I'm not really sure I don't know but um at least in this one you get a recipe it's gonna be my meal prep I'm also hopefully gonna make some egg cups so I'll put that in this video too it's basically like a meal prep it'll be like a meal prep at the end video um so yeah I think I'm gonna do like hash brown and egg little like muffin cups for breakfast and then I'm gonna have the chicken tortilla soup for lunch and then I have some of the fiber one bars which will be a snack I'll be two points the soup should be low my guess would be like two or three points of serving and I think that even might be high guess because it just has the creamed corn which have which has points and then some fat free half and half I believe has points other than that that's it. So, it should be a low point lunch. The egg things will be zero, but unless I add cheese. So, we'll see. Um, and then I've got a couple different dinners planned. I think me and Morgan are going to do tilapia later in the week. God, this road is going to give me a flat tire. You know, I they're redoing a road by my house that like doesn't need to be redone like it's fine it, there's no issues and this road has been messed up for years and it still is messed up and they aren't fixing it so I don't know what that's about but anyways yeah so that's kind of my meal plan for the week I, for the week about the tilapia thing 
I've got a few dinners, a couple like experiments that I want to try. I think one night I'm going to do, this isn't really an experiment, but I'm just going to do chicken breast with that garlic ranch seasoning and put some of the alouette little cheese. I still have those cheese cubes that I need to use up. I'm going to spread one of those inside so it'll be like a stuffed chicken breast. Um, and I'm just going to saute up some zucchini and mushroom with that. Um, that just sounds delicious and super easy. And then... I, okay, I'm gonna attempt a mac and cheese situation. I don't know that I'll get around to it this week, uh, but I'm gonna try. The potato sausage thing sparked an idea that I feel like will work for a low point mac and cheese. So we will see how that goes. <laughs> and then I can't remember the other thing. Oh, I was just gonna do like chicken with salsa and then mix some queso with some brown rice. I've done that before and it was really good. So I'll probably do that and then maybe eat the leftover corn that I'm not gonna use for the soup today and have like a little Mexican meal. So that's the meal plan for the week. Try to be back on track. I did okay this week. I haven't done good this weekend at all. I haven't tracked, but it's kind of my, it's like not my birthday weekend. Next week would be my birthday weekend because my birthday's next Monday, but we like celebrated my birthday with the concert and all of that. So it's been, um, you know, indulgent to say the least, <clears throat> but I'm going to try to do better this week. I did okay last week to the point where like my skin is back to normal. I'm no longer breaking out from eating crap. Um, I did eat out, like I ate Chick-fil-A, but I had the soup, like things like that. So I did make some better choices. Yay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get this Christmas stuff and then I'll show you that soup recipe and maybe some Christmas stuff if I get around to it, but I've got a lot of cleaning to do. So maybe I'll film a little cleaning motivation. I don't know. We'll see, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay y'all, so I can show you, there's the mama, there's the little, bowl that blackish one right there is Hershey then we've got let's see Harvey is right there he was the baby now this one is the new baby right next to the bowl how cute so that's the new one that I was telling y'all about. How freaking precious. I love her. She's so cute. I don't know her, if she has a name yet. Um, I'm not sure that she'll keep that tag on. We don't tag ours. That's just what she, you know, came with or whatever. But yeah, that is the whole little crew we've got going on. Okay, so it's been three hours. Sorry if you can hear my washer. It's Sunday, I've got laundry going. But I'm going to take the chicken breast out of here and put it into my KitchenAid mixer because the, well, does this need to go a little bit longer? Oh no, we're good, it's falling apart. Okay, um, to shred it up, I never do that, but the chicken, or the Chick-fil-A soup is um, the chicken is really, really like extra shredded and I want mine to be that way too. So I'm gonna pop it over here into my KitchenAid mixer and we will shred it up. And it looks like super shredded. That's exactly what I wanted. So we're gonna go ahead and dump this back in. Then we're gonna add in the corn. here in all my barefaced glory today just could not be bothered to put on makeup um but we're gonna let this sit it looks 
I feel like really close to Chick-fil-A. We'll see how the end flavor turns out. I do think that it needed seasoning, but um, that's just me. Taste it for yourself. Oh, okay, guess we're gonna add a little bit more corn. It just fell straight into the crock pot. So I'm gonna let it sit for like 20 or 30 minutes and then I'll be ready to turn it off and add the, add the half and half. And that is the last thing that we do. Okay y'all, so to finish, wow, I'm looking, whew, looking real cute today. Um, my chili is still like cooling or whatever, or on, it's sitting on high with the lid off, whatever. Um, I'm gonna make, I was gonna do egg cups like in a muffin tin, but honestly, I just did a mountain of dishes that I've been avoiding, and I don't wanna wash a muffin tin, that sucks. It's literally the worst dish to have to wash. That and whisks, I hate washing whisks. They just annoy me. So I'm just gonna use this little baking dish and we'll bake six pieces. So I've got just some eggs. I was gonna use 12, so it'd be like two a day for six servings, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit 12 in here. So I might just start with like six or eight and see how full it gets. Um, and then I got the Simply Potato Shredded Hash Browns. These are refrigerated, not Okay, now that that's over, <laughs> these are the refrigerated kind, not the frozen. So I'm just gonna throw it all in together. I know that sometimes um, you like bake the potatoes and then pull it out, then add your egg. I'm just gonna do it all together and we're just gonna hope for the best. I have it at 350, I'm actually gonna bump it up to 400. Okay, so you're already ready. Suspicious, because I thought you were at 350, not 400. I'm on to you. Okay. So, um, oh, let me finish showing you the ingredients. I'm gonna use just a little bit of fat-free cheddar, um, like probably like a half cup total, and then um, some of the turkey sausage crumbles. These should still be good. Yeah, use or freeze by December 26, so we're good. Um, and we just need a little bit of seasoning, black pepper, some salt. I think I'm just gonna use that. I don't really like to season my breakfast stuff with like garlic or anything. I don't know why. I just kind of prefer it plain. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I went ahead and cracked eight eggs. Let me get a fork. Okay, so we've got our eight eggs. Gonna go ahead and just salt, pepper, yeast. I feel like tilting the bowl helps for some reason. I'm gonna go ahead and add two more. I think there will be room. And I wanna make sure that the egg is, you know, substantial enough that it fills me up. So I'm just gonna use a third of a cup, because that's the clean measuring cup I have. Oh, okay. So yeah, like basically a heaping third of a cup of cheese. That's actually a lot, definitely plenty. Let's see, about a third of a cup of sausage, maybe a little extra, like a half cup of the sausage.
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. I'm gonna give it a taste. I did add, I forgot to film this, but I did add probably like a half tablespoon of fajita seasoning. This is really good and it does have a little bit of a spice. So I thought that would help with the spice so I didn't have to add more cayenne because I don't wanna, I don't want it to get too hot. But let's go ahead and add in the half and half. I will say, I almost feel like it's unnecessary because it's already like pretty good, like pretty close, but I'm gonna follow the recipe a little bit more of this. Okay, y'all, so this took 25 minutes at 400 degrees, and it looks awesome. I am so excited for this. Um, I love that I can just throw something like this together super easy and quick, and it is really low in points on WW, so I'm excited about that. And really get creative. You can add spinach. You can add vegetables. Um, I've got a really loud YouTube video going on in the back, so I will let you guys go. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I did put out a little bit more Christmas decor today, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you want to see what I added, it will be up probably in tomorrow's Vlogmas Monday or someday this week. Um, I still have to pack up my tortilla soup for lunches. <sighs> you guys, I felt like, okay, I took a few bites and I was like, no, like it needs more spice because I want it to like truly be as close to a copycat as I can get. So I added a little bit more cayenne probably like an eighth of a teaspoon, which doesn't sound like a lot, but <clears throat> I added that. And then I sat down, like I added it to the batch, but I had already s like served a bowl. So that bowl doesn't have the extra. That's the bowl that I ate. And as I was eating, I feel like it's plenty spicy. Cayenne has that like after spice. that's sort of like, you can't taste it on your tongue. It's like a throat spice sort of, and it's just like an after effect. And now I'm worried it wasn't overly spicy, but I'm worried that because I added more, that now it's gonna be so freaking spicy. I mean, it would be a true copycat because I thought Chick-fil-A's was really, really spicy. Like really spicy. My nose was like running because it was so spicy. But I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, add the tortilla strips on top, so delicious. Also, why do they call it chicken tortilla soup when none of the recipes have tortillas in it? Has anyone thought about that? <laughs> Have I just been eating like botched soup? I don't know because it doesn't have the tortillas, but add the little strips on the top and it's a really good crunch. That's how Chick-fil-A serves theirs. Super yum. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in to another Vlogmas. It turned out to be kind of a meal prep video, so yay for that. And yeah, I'm ready and prepared for a new week. I'm going to try to challenge myself this week to not go to sleep or like leave my house to go to Morgan's at night with a uh, dirty kitchen. I want all of the dishes done or put in the dishwasher, like wherever they need to be. Don't want anything in the sink. I want my counters wiped off. I did like a mountain of dishes and I'm just so annoyed by it that I'm like, no, we're done with that. We're going to go to both the clean kitchen all week long. So we'll see if I can, you know, keep up with that. Me and Hutchie are going to hang out, edit this video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Comment the cow emoji if um, you stuck around till the end and you watched all of my talking in the beginning. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you want to stick around. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.